so now the next widget that we will add after the outline choose picture button that will be basically the name field which will also be inside the visibility inside the visibility widget we will add that as the name text field will be visible only alongside with these two on the sign up okay when the user wants to sign up only then it will be visible so what we can do is here we need another variable that will be if error occur okay if error occur in the copy paste is three times since we are going to add three text fields so first one will be for name text field next one will be for email text field and the third one is for the password so anyways now we can say visible it will be visible only if the user wants to sign up for the name text field the keyboard type will be the keyboard type will be text only text and also we will need some controllers that is when the user types something in the name text field in the email text field and in the password text field then we have to get the text which the user typed there so for that purpose we will add text editing controller first one we have nam text editing controller and then of course email now first one is controller nam text editing controller let's add some decoration to it so we can say input decoration We can say write a valid name then of course we have label text label text will be name and then suffix icon we will add the icon person outline enable border and if there is error occur in the name if it has a value true which means if error occur then we will display outline border outline input border and else if no error occur in the name then we will display no outline so null so for the outline input border we can say border site border site width will be 3 and the color will be red So this is all about our name text field which is also wrapped inside this visibility widget. Now the next thing is the other two text field email and password. Now that email and password text field will be common between the login and sign up. So we will not wrap the email text field and the password text field inside our visibility widget. Okay, It will be visible on both. So 
this text field for the time saving just copy this text field widget from here copy it and we can say email text field and paste this text field here similarly we can say password text field and paste that text field here now for the email text field we can say write a valid email it will be email and the icon for this will be mail underscore outline outlined and it will be on the basis of if email uh, if error occur in the email and most importantly make sure to change this controller as this is our email text editing controller similarly for the password first make sure to change password text editing controller valid password now here for the password we will add a condition and that will be in case even the user wants to register when the user is on the registration form then in that case for the password we can say if the first we will check if we are on the sign up page okay that is on the sign up form if we are on the sign up form then in that case we will display another text otherwise else if it is login form then we will have the else statement executed which will be write a valid password or you can set write your password okay because on the login form it will be the user has to just type the correct password so write your correct password you can say or just password however for here if the user is on the sign up form then we can say must have seven must have greater than seven characters that is at or more than at if the user is on the sign up form display this as a hint text else if it is the login form display this and the icon for this will be lock underscore outline round it for the password the keyboard will be text type keyboard and for the email it will be email address now let's test our application let's see how it looks so you can see by default we are on the login screen as you know that our variable which is does user want to sign up has a false value so as the user does not want to sign up so by default we have login form okay sorry when I say page okay this is login sign up combine one page where we write clean code a reusable professional code so if that variable has false value you know that the user does not want to sign up so by default we are on the login page however when it is changed to true that is when the user wants to sign up then it becomes a sign up form instead of login it is now a sign of form you can see that